Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. My name is Tom and in this how-to I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot a specific SBase error um, that happens when you try and log into your SBase server and the login credentials uh, don't match. So just to show you here, the specific error that we're going to be working on is error 1051293, uh, which is a login which fails due to invalid login credentials. Uh, what that really means is that when you try and log into your SBase server, the password doesn't match, and so it's going to you know, prevent you from logging in. Now a typical scenario for this happening might be that you're prompted at your Windows login to change your account password um, because of, it, of some administration settings that you may have at your company and you go ahead and make that change and then the next time you try and log into EAS you, you don't seem to be able to get in. Um, and if this is the error that's throwing then this is the fix you're going to have to go through. Uh, so to begin what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the error happening. So I've gone ahead and logged into EIS and from here you know, you, you've come to your SBase server and you're double clicking but for some reason you keep getting this error down here, error 105-1293 uh, um, and this error keeps appearing when you, when you try and connect to the SBase server. Um, so to fix this what you need to do is you need to change the stored password uh, against the user account and to do that you're going to go ahead and expand out administration servers and then from here you're going to drill down to your user accounts and then the account that you're looking to change the password on in this case it's the administration servers account and then you'll move over to your sbase servers and as you can see here your uh, sbase node has a stored password um, against the account so what you'll do is you'll go ahead and change it to the correct password and then you'll have to confirm it over here and then you'll go ahead and set it now if you did try and set it and the two passwords didn't match you would receive an error but in this case I've done that correctly so I'll click apply and as you can see here you'll get an admin password change which has succeeded uh, and then to test this you can go ahead and move over to your SBase server and try and drill in and um, as you can see here uh, I should be able to now just drill down to my applications and the password which I have now changed is being brought through and uh, allowing me to see my applications. So thanks for watching this Performance Architects how-to on how to change your uh, SBase server password in EAS. Uh, please head on over to our channel to see more videos on business intelligence and uh, enterprise performance management. Thanks for watching.